Hey Secondary 2 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. Today we are still in Algebra Week and today we are learning some factorization which is pretty simple and yesterday's question was the most simplest factorization questions I can ever give you. So let's take a look at how we do that. I can even do it mental sums for you but I'm just showing off. <laughs> okay, so for part A, how do you do these kind of questions? It's very simple. Let me give you the answer straight away. If you see two similar things here, all you have to do is take it out first. 3m plus 4n, okay, in this case 3m plus 4n multiplied by the other ones outside. So it becomes 4m plus n. That's the first answer, okay? For part b, the answer is 3p plus q because it's the same thing or, three, or if you want to write q plus 3p is up to you, okay? Uh, and the whole thing, the other one is bracket is 2p minus 4q, okay? Now, what can you do here? Now in this case, what you must do is, as you can see, there is still some common factors here. So you have to pick it, take it out, take out two, and then you will have three p plus q as well as you get p minus two q. Why? Because we're actually taking out the two for this one over here. So two times p gives you two p. Um, two times minus two q gives two four q. So it's correct. So the answer is two three p plus q p minus two q. Hope you got this one right. Okay. Now for part c. I'm going to erase everything here, make sure you take down the answers, okay? For part C, um, it's similar to part B. So how we do it is very simple as well. First off, okay, you must make sure that you see this is different, right? This and this are different. So what must you do? Step one, you must make sure that you make it look the same. So it's up to you, you want to put minus 8x or what? It's up to you. I prefer to put a minus sign here so that this one looks the same as this one, okay? Okay, let's take a look. So instead of minus, I put plus. In other words, I multiply by minus 1 for every single term in here. Understand that part? So minus 1 times minus 2y gives you plus 2y. Okay? Minus, three, minus 1 times 3y gives you minus 3y. Minus 1 times minus x gives you plus x. So x minus 3y. And now we have achieved the, the thing of putting this, making this look the same. So now the same thing, x minus 3y, pick it out. Now you have 8x plus 2y. And wait, look, we still have another common factor here. So what must we do? We must take out the 2. Then you put x minus 3y. Then what do you have? You have 4x plus y. And that is the answer. So if you got it right, high five. You are super math prodigy. Good job. Because this was a little more tougher than the usual factorization questions. And this is very well done. Okay? So now... The next question that I have for you are also factorization questions, a level 2 factorization questions. It might not look very familiar to you, but I know you can figure this out. Part A, A squared plus 2A plus 1. Part B, P squared plus 6PQ plus 9Q squared. And C, 4X squared minus 20XY plus 25Y squared. I want you to factorize these three terms, these three equations. I know you can do it. If you don't know, take a look at your textbook again, okay? So now... Remember, the quote of the week is, this is actually very simple stuff. Math is simple stuff. And in, as in math, as in life, slow and steady wins the race. Be cool, be slow, be steady, and win that race. With that, this is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.